Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Yeah, had to get a few more Jade Summer books. They just keep putting up books that I like. There were a few newer ones that came out that I didn't get. So, uh, you know me and my grayscale, especially Jade Summer. They are my ultimate favorite type of grayscale there is because they're so simple. <laughs> Some of the other grayscale you get into is, is kind of hard to, to color, but Jade Summer, yeah, you can't go wrong. So I got the Alice in Wonderland grayscale book, and then I got the Intricate Flowers coloring book. So let's look at the grayscale first. Yes. Now I'm not a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. I know there's a ton of you out there that have to have all the Alice in Wonderland books you can find. I'm not one of them, but these pictures looked so cute. And of course they're grayscale. So hey. <laughs> Here we have an info page and we get right into the book. Now I'm assuming there are two. Yes. So we start over right there. I'm going to put a little something something back there so I know. I always forget what the first copy starts with so then I don't know where the second copy starts. <laughs> but isn't she adorable? And like I said, with this grayscale, if you're new to grayscale and you're afraid to try it, try one of Jade Summer's grayscale books because they look phenomenal when you get done. I mean, they are made for alcohol markers. <laughs> they really are. You pick a pretty uh, color for like her hair and it's all shaded in for you when you get done with it. And like her, her outfit and stuff. Yeah, they're just, oh, they're fantastic. They're single-sided. All of Jade Summer books have the black reverse side that does not prevent bleed through onto your next page. So still put a piece of cardstock back behind so you don't ruin the next picture. Now, again, I am not up on my... Uh, Alice in Wonderland uh, story. So I am not familiar with these characters. I do recognize that though. <laughs> but yeah, had to get it. It's grayscale and she is just so adorable. Oh, there she's, there she's going down. Oh, that's cute. That's the Cheshire cat, right? <laughs> right? Uh. Ain't he cute? Love that grin. Isn't this just adorable? Kind of off-center here, ain't I? <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that is. I know, I know, you Alice in Wonderland fans are going to be saying, how can you not know that? <laughs> yeah, like I said, don't know the Alice in Wonderland characters. Oh, that's cute. I'll just color them because they're adorable. <laughs> this one's a little more detailed. Still wouldn't be that bad to color though. Get out some gel pens and fine liners. Now this one is much simpler. That would be a real quick, easy one to color. Okay, that's a different looking creature. Again, I'm not familiar with it. And the last, nope, I lied. <laughs> Second to last. There's the last one. Oh, that is adorable. I love that. All right, and then again starts the second set. 
So there you have it. And then we have a couple of pictures on the back cover from inside the book. Isn't that cute? So for you Jade Summer grayscale lovers, here's another one. And I think they came out with one more. Is it a tattoo? grayscale one. I'm not a tattoo person, but I did see Anne do a flip of it. And hmm, I may have to get that one because there are, I, like I said, I'm, I'm, well, I shouldn't say I'm not into tattoos. I have a big fairy tattoo <laughs> on my uh, upper back on my right shoulder. And uh, so can't say I'm not into tattoos, but coloring a lot of some of the tattoo books I've seen is just not my jam, but yeah, that that book looked kind of neat, so I may have to get that one. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. <laughs> so, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the flip through, and if you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great day, and as always, happy coloring. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't flip through the second one. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> I take all that back, okay? Intricate Flowers by Jade Summers. I was, I was so excited. Oh, Jade Summer. I always want to say Summers. I was so excited about the grayscale one. I forgot about this one. This one is Intricate Flowers, and it is beautiful. Any of you that like floral pictures, oh, I can just see my gel pens in here, fine liners. I think alcohol markers might be a little tricky because there, as you can see, there are some fine lines along with your thicker line work. But uh, yeah, there's some fine lines in here and very small areas. So I think alcohol markers for the majority of the pictures, I haven't looked through this whole book, but yeah, I think it would be a little difficult, even with your ultra fine like Sharpies and Bix. Some of it I'm sure could be done with them. But so pretty. Oh, like I said, I can see my glitter gel pins. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So if you do like more intricate style pictures, this is kind of like a mandala. And I know I myself, I like these, but I got to be in the mood to do one. You know, many times you just want to get out something easy. Oh, that is so pretty. Love the stuff that they have in the corners. And you wouldn't have to color the white in, or you could maybe pastels. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love it. Ooh, that might might have to be the first one I do. Oh, I love that too. <laughs> I'm bad, I know. I'm bad. Oh, another one. Oh, what a cool book. Oh my goodness. Now that one would take a while. <laughs> Wowzers. Very so pretty tulips. So this one's a little bit bigger. Not quite so intricate. Ooh, another intricate one. Lots and lots of little leaves to do in these. Oh, that's neat. Different shaped picture. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it, love it. You know, me and my mandalas. <laughs> Oh, so cool. I'm glad I got this. And it's a Jade Summer book after all, you know. But as the book says, they are quite intricate. Oh, another really cool one. Oh, I love it. I will leave links to this, these books down in the description in case you would like to look at them yourselves. Now that one's a little bit easier, right? Oh, so cool. 
All these flowers remind me of like carnations. Or roses. Because of these jagged edges. Oh, so neat. Wow. Yeah, this is not um, a book where you'll just sit down with a, a picture and, you know, get it done in an hour or two. <laughs> Might be a couple sittings. Look like little lily pads, right? Oh my gosh. That is definitely a fine liner page. Woohoo! Look at these little bitty things in here. Oh, I bet you these pictures will be just gorgeous when they're done, though. Yeah, I would say if you have a vision impairment, you would either need a magnifying glass or uh, this book may not be for you. Wow. Very different, though, isn't it? Oh, I love the style of that one, too. Really unique. Another mandala. Oh. pretty okay that was the last one then you can um, now buy digital editions of their books um, they do have an email list you can subscribe to and they do have a Facebook group that you can join here is the listing of all their other books <laughs> asking for a review on Amazon and here is a bonus page from Intricate Mandalas, and I love, love, love that book. Boy, I got to get that book out again. That one, oh, it's so much fun. All right, and here we have some pictures from inside the book again. So that is Intricate Flowers, and that is... Alice in Wonderland Grayscale. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I still hope you're having a terrific day. <laughs> and as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.